Greetings DCS community and welcome back to my channel. Today we're in the F-14B Tomcat and when I say we, I actually got a good buddy of mine, Cobra, up there in the front seat. How's it going, Cobra? How's it going, guys? I'll be Diesel's chauffeur for the day. Yeah, yep. Yeah, always good to have some uh, VIP escorting uh, going on. So, uh, in, in any case, uh, what's, what do you say we get this jet going and uh, go kick some ass? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. All right. Let's do this. All right. I'm going to drop the canopy. Drop it. Okay. That's already done. Ground power and air is connected. Copy. Thank you. When you're ready, I got some items for you. Ready. Alright, wing handle the oversweep, air source off, and generators normal. Check on all three. Alright, uh, your emergency, uh, I'm sorry, hydraulic transfer to off and then emergency hydraulics check. Check. And then testing uh, the lights, fire detect, and instruments with the master test at your leisure. Lights checking out okay up here. Looks good in the back. Good in the back. Good up here. All right, I'm ready to fire up number two. Deck is clear. Fire when ready. No smoke or fire. We got a good light. Copy. Hydraulics are good. Uh, do you have the altimeter setting? No, not yet. Two nine or nine or zero. Two nine or nine or zero. Copy. All right. Light number one. Area is clear. I got a good light on one. Everything's looking normal up here. Excellent. Getting stuff set up in the back. Stand by for air. Air's good. Alright, alignment started. Got it. That's good. Copy. Ground power and ground air is disconnected. Excellent. Uh, if you want to set your tech in, 37 X ray is the boat. 37 X ray, got it. Carrying a 232 configuration today. 232, copy. And I imagine we have tanks also. A firm. Excellent. Gun check. Excellent. Uh, you're ready to go for now. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm just running through the checklist that I have on a uh, tablet sitting next to me here. All cats are clear except I see the uh, blast door up on number two. Roger, I see that too. Uh, which one do you want to shoot off on tonight? I'll take one. Copy. Kmart traffic, Baird 1 1, taxing to Cat 1 for takeoff, northbound departure, Kmart traffic. Alright, when you can, all your stabilities turned on and trim neutralized. Roger, stand by. Alright, FCS check. Wings coming up. 
Alright, left wing's moving. Right wing's moving, looks good. Alright, looks good in the back, I'm ready to go. Copy, control check. Looks good. Copy. And I'm ready to launch. Ready. Kmart traffic, Baron 1 1 taking off Cat 1 northbound departure. Kmart traffic. Kmart traffic, Baron 1 1 is clear of the boat. Happy hunting, Kmart traffic. Of importance is I always rock the uh, command eject handle aft. That way, if I punch us out, we both go. Unlike Jester, who tends to only fend for himself. Focus, 1 1, Colt, 1 1, request picture. All right, there's our picture, and I've kind of offset us uh, towards the bottom of the screen there. Copy, got it. It's all friendlies on the screen so far. Oh, lots of them. So me personally, I like adjusting the TID settings so that both of us can have a good idea of what's what's going on. And in this picture, it's a north up display, and all of these velocity vectors are in true motion and not relative motion to us. Unlike this view, where all of the uh, vectors are relative to us. Now I'm just punching in the uh, coordinates for uh, Guam, so we have an easy reference to where Bullseye is. Which for Marianas, um, through the Inferno Marianas, uh, that's where the bullseye is set, is the uh, Guam TACAN for Anderson Air Force Base. Looks like we got a friendly that's uh, on his way to our targets as well. Yeah, I see that too. Uh, this guy right here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, let's see who gets there first. Also, the highlighted home plate, that's the uh, waypoint for Guam that I just stuck in. Okay, copy. Alright, 81 Yankee for the KC-135. I just punched in the TACAN for the tanker. He's only 24 miles away off to our 3 o'clock. All right, you want to top off real quick? Yeah, we can, especially since someone else is going to intercept those other targets first. Copy. That guy is, uh, he's 50 miles ahead of us. Yeah, it looks like he's going to be us. Um, is that it right there at uh, 120? Yep, you got visual already? Uh, no, I just had to back in up. I just want to make sure you had it set. Yep, that's me. All right, want me to call the tanker? Yeah.
Shell 1-1. One, one. Colt 1-1. One, one. Request rejoin. Colt 1-1. One, one. Shell 1-1. One, one. Proceed to pre-contact at 21,000. At 270. Visual on tanker. Copy. I got fuel state currently as 17.9 cross check. Uh, confirm 17.9. Copy. Yeah, I'm ready with the refuel checklist when you are. Copy that. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, first thing is uh, master arm safe. Check. And most of the rest of it's when we get closer to the tanker. Copy. How far is he? I don't even see him yet. Five miles ahead of us, he's cold right now. Oh, copy. All right, ready for checklist. All right, probe extend and extend all. Check. And then air source left. Check. All right, we're good to go. Let's get some gas. Copy that. Ready, recontact. Clear contact. There it is. Finally. Nice plug. You're taking fuel. Thank you. Yep, go ahead and guess. One, uh, 17 point zero. Seventeen five. Twenty zero. Stand by to disconnect. Transfer complete. Nice. All right, we got business. Looks like a pair of SU-17s, 313 for 160. 313 for 116, cup. 160, 160. Uh, 160, got it. We want to do this usual way, fire a Phoenix for the first guy and follow up with a Sparrow on the second guy? Yeah, sounds good to me. Roger. Uh, when do you want to go nose hot? Uh, 60 miles? Uh, yeah, let's do 60. Depending on their closure, but 60 sounds good. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. There we go. Only 330 miles away. Let's go for them. Alright. Uh, bags are empty. All right, I'll stand by to punch him off when the need arises. Is our alignment off or what? You see that data link contact off there at 2 o'clock? Yeah, I see, oh, I see both of them. That's weird. All right, air to air mode. Weapons hot. Weapons hot. Phoenix selected. Uh, don't forget the roll stability is if you could. Check. And probably a good point for sideway and cooling. And check. Yeah, that's them off to our right. Want me to light them up? Yeah, that's weird. The AWACS report's not accurate right now. Either that or our alignment drifted. Yeah, it's like a 
25 degree drift. Alright, nails show at our 10 o'clock. I'm coming left. Radar contact, come left. Alright, I'm coming left. Negative return on the IFF marking hostile. Perfect. Close is really good. Let's launch at 55. Go on, burner. 55, I. Let's fire on both of them. Fire on what? Uh, we'll do aim 54 on both. Yep, copy. Keep them at arm's length. Got it. 55. Fox 3. Copy. We're supersonic. Fox 3 times 2. Copy. Off lower. Offsetting right. Copy. Just over a minute on the first one. First missile is Pitbull. Second missile is Pitbull. Copy. Okay, good job. One's down. Copy. You find the other one. Working on it. Go to pop. Got him. Yep. Him on Take him. Splash. Splash one. Yeah. That was a nice snapshot. Yeah, that was that was definitely a minimum shot. All right, weapon safe. Weapon safe. All right, he was sneaking up on us with uh, nose cold. And I, uh, radar's being fussy tonight. Normally, I don't have a problem picking out contacts like that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Between that and the uh, day link being off by 25 degrees. If you could head 210 for 200, that's Guam. 210 for 200, copy. There you go, I got it queued up as a navigation point. I see it. Yep. Hey, you remember the last time you went from uh, Saipan to Guam? No, I can't remember. What were we at? Well, you were in this, I was in an A-10, and uh, I think you were in convertible mode. You know, I heard if we looked really close between Saipan and Tinian, we might see some squadron shenanigans going on down there. Yeah. Lots of, uh, lots of dead jets in that, in that water. Copy, I'm gonna do my thing back here and get the navigation reset. Alright, so this is pretty easy. So I dropped the waypoint over the TAC and beacon for uh, Anderson Air Force Base. I got it hooked right now. So, and it's tuned up on the TAC and. I'll double check that. 54 X ray. And we're on my TAC and. So we come over here to the nav panel. 
and hit tech and fix it comes up with the offset error if you're good with that and then hit fix enable and you're all set all right, all right navigation's re realigned all right yeah now the boat showing 84 miles Marshall 203, Marky Moms 101450, Angels 26, State 9.2. Angels 203, weather's weather is visibility 10 plus miles. Scattered clouds at 2000, altimeter is 2901, case 1 recovery, expected DRC 1090, report 10. Fire open 50 miles is starting to descend. 203. Copy. One zero nine is BRC tonight. One zero nine copy. Did you say BRC was one zero nine? That's affirmative. Hey, we only got one sparrow or two sparrows and two winders left, right? So I'm just doing the uh, weight calculations for our trap weight. All right, good news, we're below max trap point, so uh, we don't have to dump any fuel or anything. Excellent. Kmart traffic, Baron 1-1, inbound from the east, 30 miles. Kmart traffic. Kmart traffic, clutcher 106, inbound from the north, 15 miles. Sound like he said 15 or 50. I think he said 15, 1 5. Yeah, that's what I thought I heard too. Okay. Alright, we're within 10 miles, I'd announce. Entering the stack. 203. See you at 10. Update state, switch down. 203. State 2 Kmart traffic, Baron 1 1 inbound from the east, 10 miles. Visual on the boat. That's us. The other guy just bolted. Alright, when able, uh, check gear down. Copy, gear down. Copy, checklist complete, ready to land. I did. Looking good so far. Got the ball. Two zero three. Tomcat ball. Two zero point two. Good trap. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Four wire and we're a little long in the groove. It's weird because it showed three wire to me. <laughs> Interesting. Guess I never got this blast shield fixed. Nope, they must be working on it. Kmart traffic, Barrow 1 1, Green Deck. Well, folks, there you have it. That's a pretty successful mission tonight here in the F 14 Tomcat with uh, two human crew. It's an awful lot of fun whenever you can put two, uh, two good dudes in here. And uh, with that, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.